Right, in this drawing, what we're going to look at is how to draw the true shape of the cutting plane. And uh, how I go about doing that is I need to draw an XY axis that is going to be parallel to that cutting plane. Um, what you can do there is you can set your ruler up like that and you can slide it out and you can then draw an XY axis over here very neatly, okay. There's the X and the Y, okay. Then you need to get another set square. You're going to slide this one back to that point over there, just underneath that line over there. You're going to then take your other set square that you've got handy, place it over there, and then I'm able to draw lines going out from all of the points over here that I need to transfer to get the cutting plane. Right, and that's one way of doing it. Um, the other way that is also quite useful to know, and I think a lot easier for these little drawings, is if you take that off your board, um, you can then place your ruler down like that, and you can swing your page around so that the cutting plane is in line with your T-square. Okay, once that's in place, you get yourself a little bit of the good old masking tape that you have handy, and you can then take that and tape your page down in two places. I've taped it in two places so it doesn't move around. I can now move that out. You can see that I can draw that XY axis that is perfectly parallel to that, and I can take my set square that I know is 90 degrees to my cutting plane, and I can take lines going out from all of the points over here. Just do those. There we go. Take that out. Take that out. From all of these points, all the lettered points that you saw me lettering in the last video. Right. Okay, let's have a look. Let's take B. There's point B from the XY axis, from my, let me just do that. There's my XY axis over there. Take the distance from the XY axis to point B. Go up to the new XY axis over there and plonk point B down. Don't forget to label it. Go from the XY axis to A, XY axis to A. Find A, go up to the XY axis over there. Mark off A, label it. Go over here, it says that it's D. Go to D, go up to the new X, Y axis, mark that off, and label it D. F, there's F. Go to the X, Y axis, go up here. There's F, H, this one from H. Go to there, go up there. Mark that off. There's H. Go to J. Find J. Go up over there. There's J. And K. There's K. Go to K. Go up there. Mark off K. Okay. Right, what I would like you to see over here is everything that is on this side would be perfectly symmetrical to everything on that side. So the distances from that center line over there would be the same. Okay, I'm going to take point A, distance from point A to there, we said was that distance over there. All right, if I go along to where K is and I draw a center line going across here, um, Note this distance from B to the center line should be exactly the same as from B to that A over there. Oops. There we go. B, turn it around, there's A. From D to that center line, turn it around, there we go. And I should be able to find that if I've drawn accurately, these measurements over here that I could take from here, move it up there, Place it down, 
they would be in exactly the same p positions all the way around this thing um, as these ones if I just swap them over to the other side. So I'm going to do that. It just saves a lot of time. As long as you have got that center line in the right place, you can use this, me this method over here to get what you need. There we go. And you can go with your pencil to these points over here. And you can get those points going around. As I say, this works if the thing is symmetrical around an axis. And we can do the same thing over there. You can see that I'm just using little dots just to join up these lines. And at the end of the day, I'll end up with a nice thing that I can now go around with either a French curve or with freehand. I would recommend just practicing your freehand curves. It saves a lot of time at the end of the day when you are rushed in an exam. And you will get your marks for what you are doing. There we go. Don't forget to draw that line in. And there is my cutting plane, true shape of the cutting plane. And I can now hatch that using my set square. Let's just do that quickly. There we go. There's my true shape of the cutting plane done to the rat's 